arrived in Iceland. It's cold. It's very, very cold. Thank you for joining me on my latest adventure. I'm here in Iceland with Inga. We are so excited. We have wanted to come to Iceland for so many years. We've been friends for a long, long time. And Iceland's been on our bucket list. So we're here for the next few days. We are staying in this really pretty hotel called the Northern Lights Inn. We're in one of their deluxe rooms. We were treated like absolute superstars when we arrived. And this is the view from our window. It's so pretty. During the winter, there's only a few hours of sunshine, so we're trying to maximize as much as possible. We are knackered. We were up at like 4 a.m. to catch the flight here because we wanted to get the early flight. So we're slightly slurring, so I apologize in advance for this whole entire day of speed, but we're gonna get out and explore. There's a couple of cute little paths here that they recommend to walk. Um, so you can just walk out from the hotel. It's like half an hour either way, either up into the mountains or to a cave. And then we are just settling into Iceland in the best possible way because we have booked the Blue Lagoon a little bit later on today. So getting exploring. In this room, you get access to the spa as well. So once the daylight has disappeared, we will be going to the spa. So after a little bit of exploring the local area, we're now off to the Blue Lagoon, which is one of the major things that you do when you come to Iceland, of course, and what we are, without a doubt, the most excited about. It's actually walkable from our hotel, but you can also get a little mini bus, so we are, because it's freezing. We just had some waffles. It's so cool at the hotel. They have complimentary coffee and tea, and also they have waffle hour. So we had a waffle and it was amazing with cream, freshly whipped and jam, and oh, exactly what you need after exploring in the cold. Um, so yeah, waffled up and now we're going to the Blue Lagoon. Yes! <laughs> oh Inga is really not getting on with the smell too well. <laughs> I'm alright, I went to Sydney Street recently. I went to the mud baths and they stunk. So I'm kind of used to it. I'm so excited though. I think when you see it, you just forget the smell because it's so beautiful. We're just walking in. to go in though it's just so so there this is amazing <laughs> right now we have to go find a spot to take a picture that's not got a million people oh shush look at you stop it, stop it. We were told to put conditioner on our hair, but I thought if I didn't put my hair in, it wouldn't get um, the water on it. But it sprays in the air, so my hair is now soaked with this sulfur water, so it's gonna be super dry. Rookie mistake. So it's super early, it's still pitch black outside. We're about to leave our hotel for a two day adventure tour. Uh, we are gonna be exploring the south of Iceland. So we've booked a private tour with a company called Trav Ice. I did a lot of research uh, when it came to booking the tour here in Iceland because there are so many different options. You can do a group tour or you can book your own bespoke private tour, which is what we personally did. Reason being was because there's so many places that I really wanted to see. And obviously I'm gonna be taking 
taking photos and vlogging and all that kind of stuff. So I, I really like when I can uh, to book a private tour and luckily Inga wanted to book the private tour as well. It means also that we can stop off along the way and just, you know, get much more for our money, I personally think. So we've booked a private tour, very, very excited. Um, it's super freezing, it's about minus 11 degrees, so I'm ready to get very cold, but I can't wait to see all of the sights. We're gonna be going through some waterfalls, we're gonna be going to the Black Sandy Beach, and then we're gonna end up in Yorka Salon after spending one evening in Vic. So it's an overnight two day tour. I'm so excited. Um, here at the hotel, at the Northern Lights Inn, they call you if they see the Northern Lights past midnight. Didn't see them last night and the forecast for our entire trip actually is pretty bad. So I don't think we'll see the Northern Lights, but I am hoping that we get some gorgeous weather today to see all of the stunning winter Icelandic scenery. I'm so excited. So yeah, leading out in the dark and we're gonna get in our car and go and ex Gluten free bread, yes. This is such a good little spread. I know. We're just gonna have some breakfast in our hotel. We had the best sleep. Like, the beds here are so comfy. We're feeling well rested to see the wonder that is this country. So we are at our first stop, which is a waterfall. Now listen, it's not very easy to pronounce any of these places here in Iceland. So what I will do is when I show you the beauty of each individual stop that we take on this South Island tour, I will write on the screen the name of it. But I don't know if you can see it behind me right now. We're gonna of course go a little bit closer to it, but our first waterfall. Um, we're actually gonna walk behind it as well. So we've got our waterproofs on and we are ready. It's so cold, by the way, it's minus four degrees. My hand right now is falling off, but I'm gonna video it all for you. So on summer, you can go up the stairs there and go behind it. Oh, cool. It's pretty epic to see a waterfall in winter, isn't it? Go down the stairs. Wow. A waterfall. We were gonna walk behind it, but it's closed, unfortunately. But in the summer, you can walk all the way up to the top and in the winter you can actually walk behind it but I think it's just too cold today so it's closed but it's so amazing to look at. Oh. It's so cold. My biggest tip for you if you're coming to Iceland in winter is footwear. Like I have got leather waterproof boots on, two pairs of socks, I can't feel my feet. So we've been out of the car for about five minutes. Listen, <laughs> invest in like 10 pairs of thermal socks, strap on your Ugg boots, wrap them up in a bin bag, put heat warmers in them, and then you'll probably be all right footwear wise. <laughs> I mean, it's totally worth it. You're completely freezing, but just enjoying all the scenery, but boy, are you freezing. Like I've never known cold like it. My body's fine all na wrapped up and warm, but my feet are done. Done! Got a coffee to try. Sorry about the shakiness. Oh, God. I bought in the reinforcements and I've changed my top and coat in the car because it's just so cold. Oh my goodness, can you see that rainbow? It's amazing. Wow. 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 Iceland is definitely one of these places that you cannot capture in video or photo form. Unless you're like an absolute pro. I know I'm not capturing it. <laughs> I can't even keep my hair on my head, let alone capture how beautiful it is. So many days you can stand under a waterfall with a rainbow and it be snowing. I kind of got a bit of a knack 
or a bit of a, a love affair um, for the ice when I went to Gestad last month. If you haven't seen that video already, check it out. I'll link it down below. It's one of my faves. Um, so I absolutely love being in the snow and I'm definitely a water baby. I love the sea. I love tropical locations and I tend to specialise in them doing luxury travel, but I have loved all of these winter trips that I've been going on recently. And Iceland, if you have ever had it on your bucket list, definitely bump it up to the top. This place is incredible. And I really love it in winter as well because, oh my god, I just tried in a massive puddle. Oh my foot is going to freeze off. just pulled up to our final destination in terms of sightseeing for the day we are now at black beach we have been so lucky with the weather it's gorgeous sunshine and blue skies i mean i always think if you manage to see a place in the sunshine it tends to look better everything just glistens and this has got to be one of the most amazing places i'm so grateful for the weather right now because it just looks amazing Freedom. 
Today has been so amazing. I'm so glad we booked this tour. And it's been so great to have a private tour because we've just planned you know, every moment ourselves. The sun setting on the snow. It is like the land of dreams. I've just had the absolute best day. We're gonna go to the hotel now, have some dinner and get ready for day two of our South Icelandic adventure. This is honestly something of dreams. This is just insane. Look at the sunset. Okay, so after another early morning, we've arrived in the place that I was the most excited to visit here in Iceland, Jokusalon. It is epic. Actual icebergs. So, so pretty. It's incredible. So that's a glacier right up top leading down to this river that runs all the way into the sea and they've just got these huge icebergs in the middle it's just insane and then right at the beach you have these cute little tiny icebergs which we're going to go and see a little bit later but just looking at this cool lake right now Crazy, completely see through. This is amazing. This is like nothing I've ever experienced. That's a seal right there. This is just honestly one of the best days ever. Do you know what everything happens for a reason because we were trying to get here for the sunrise to get all the beautiful pink colors in the sky that if we'd have come at sunrise all of the seals would not be coming up for the sunshine so it's just i just can you hear them <laughs> As you guys know, well, those of you who have followed me for some time will know that I'm the hugest advocate for seeing animals in the wild. And this has to be added to your list if you are an animal lover. I'm gonna write an entire blog post just about this place, so I'll link it down below in the description box. But this is, I mean, wow. This has just been the most incredible morning. I can't even get over it. We saw like 40 seals, ah, completely in the wild. One experience. We have to leave because we can't feel our toes or fingers. But I wish I could stay here all day. And what a scene to see them as well. It's like something out of a National Geographic. Oh my God. Thank you, Anna, <laughs> for bringing me to this wonderful place. You're I can't pronounce your name right, but I can thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, whoa. So we have now come to Diamond Beach, which is just across the way from Yokosalan and the glacier. 
It's called Diamond Beach because there's all these really cool little icicles that look like diamonds. And this is black sand. So it's complete sand look. And then you've got all of these amazing icicles. It's absolutely stunning. And we've still got some pink in the sky from the sunrise, which was about three, four hours ago. This is so pretty. There's quite a few people here, understandably, because it's so gorgeous. But one second, let me just show you one of these icicles. Let me find one I can pick up. <laughs> so it's like, like a little diamond. Isn't that cool? Of course, covered in sand. You hear how incredible Iceland is and everyone says how it's like nowhere else in the world. It really is something. I mean, this for me is just so bizarre and unique. The sand is so soft, like I'm walking through it like it's marshmallows. And then you've just got these huge chunks of ice and you're next to the sea. And then behind us, we had that huge glacier where the seals are just playing. <sighs> I just, oh my goodness. And there's a huge iceberg. I don't know if you'll see it. You might, a huge iceberg right there where the waves are breaking. Iceland, you've got me. You have got me. I'm coming back. I'm gonna do the north next time, I think. situation helping a car that is stuck one more time we're such great people aren't we <laughs> second breakdown of the day <laughs> I feel like I could start a new career <laughs> dun, 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 dun. uh oh It's done. It's gone. 